Hi everyone, this is Steven Brooks from Rubber Onion Animation. Welcome to day two of my production diary slash video log. I'm very excited to get started on work today because I get to do storyboarding, which is my favorite part of the process. Um, I'm going to be doing a slightly different version of storyboarding than you may be used to. Um, some people call it thumbnailing, I call it sticky boarding because I use so many post-it notes. You can see an example of it on the back wall here uh, from a different project that I'm working on. And uh, I like it so much because I get to, it's the first time I get to jump from the word end of things to the visual end of things. And um, that's very exciting for me. So uh, I hope it's as fun to watch as it is to do. And there's not much else to tell. So let's hit it. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting setup. I got my laptop here. I got a camera right up there. You can see. Hi, camera. I have my post-its, very valuable. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the script that uh, that we did yesterday. Let me just staple this. Uh, what I'm using right now is the brush tip pen that I used yesterday. Hey, look, ladybug. Oh, oh, that's good luck. Um, I think it's a good time to get started. Sticky pad, pen, and just start start drawing. Start reading and start drawing. So the first one I'm going to have sound effects over black. So I'm just going to write boom. And there's there's my first my first thumbnail. You want to do these pretty quick. They should not look refined. Okay, so now we have Father Rooster saying police. All right. This is my other thumbnail. Cops to look up. Chicken wire fence. Let's have the finger right in. Uh, here's a couple of them. Now we do cock a doo, doo Let's try this out. Let's try cop hat. Here's ruffled feathers. See, now here's my problem. It looks too much like the police frame. Right? I think we're going to have to do away with that. So, Murder our darlings. Goes away. I could have them looking right at the camera, you know, and it goes cock a doo doo, -doo and then the camera moves in, and then it goes black, right? There's this half, making this half fly off. These squares that I'm drawing are, um, to zoom in, you see, this is the screen where it is, and then these lines will tell us that uh, he's zooming into this box here. Bam, there's my next thumbnail. Easter Bunny, a few dozen feet away, here in the rooster call, startles them, looks over his shoulder. Oh my. Right. Now at this point I know he's moving from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. So I'm going to have him look over his right shoulder. See again I have a problem because I can match up the thumbnails now. I got almost the exact same scene from, from one to the other. I have right in the beginning I have him running and I have, I have this one looking over his shoulder. So now I have to figure out which, which one would I like to have. I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to try it another way. Maybe if I have the camera view from behind him, and instead of looking over his right shoulder, he's looking over his left shoulder. So he's still looking to the to the left side of the screen. Oh my! I think that's better. It adds more variety, and any time I can add more variety, it's better. Okay, so now we're now we're doing the aerial view of the dirt path where he's running. Just do a couple bushes here. The Easter Bunny running. That's our aerial view. Now from that aerial view, we have a bird. Flying overhead. Coffee break. Look. So this guy says, why are the chicken crossing the road? So the driver is looking at him really weird. Um, you know what? That doesn't work. I have this guy over here saying, why are the chickens crossing the road? And then I have the driver looking over at him doing that blank stare, right? The reason this doesn't work is because it's going to be confusing having one guy look off to his right and then have the other guy look blankly off to the right because it could be interpreted that the driver is looking at the chickens instead of looking at the guy. So to be clear, I want to have him looking in the opposite direction of where the chickens are running. He's looking away from all the action, looking to the guy who's looking at the action and giving him a stupid look. Grab that. So instead, I'm going to have the driver say something. And then the other guy is going to look at him. 
uh, okay, so now we go back to the Easter Bunny running. Uh, the Easter Bunny is now going to go into the uh, barn. The Easter Bunny now, changing directions, is, is going to be running from the right to the left side of the screen. So the barn has to be on the left. Just, just to give you a little heads up that this is the type of stuff I think about. Barn, window, whatever. Running to the barn. Here's my coffee. Okay, continuing. This is where I've left it a little open in the script. I just say he runs in and he gets trapped. So he comes in, let's say he slams the door shut. This is a window, this is the door, slams shut. Bam! I'm going to switch from, uh, from my blue to this kind of dullish purple. This is where things get a little tricky for me because action's a little easier to do. Like I said, keeping one character on one side, traveling from one side to the other. That stuff's pretty easy to keep track of. But when you have a, a slower scene coming off of action, I really don't want the short to slow to crawl. I want it to be a fairly quick process. So from here, he's looking out the window. He sees all the chickens there. Oh, crap. I drew it the wrong way. <laughs> First, I'm going to have him look out the window like, bamboozled. And then he presses his back up against the wall and looks out the window like that. Bam! And then he looks out the window. Bamboozled. And this is where old McDonald comes out. So here we have old McDonald. Ah, okay, okay, so I can have the chicken looking up in the shadow of old McDonald. And here is the big guy, Thunderbolt Crackoom. He's going to be silhouetted. It just means I don't have to design another character. Old McDonald is my, my deus ex machina. Now we're back to the Easter Bunny. I'm having the chicken scatter, right? Scattering and crowds. It's really hard to do and uh, very time-consuming. Not so time-consuming if they're silhouetted or something like that, which is why I'm having it start to rain when he goes into the uh, into the barn. The storm comes, things get darker, and it gets a little messier, and people don't focus too much on the animation that's happening outside. So um, it's just going to be a lot of little circles and blobs that are that are running around. It's going to be a fairly easy scene to do. If you don't know this stuff right off the bat, it's okay. Just sit down and um, and and start making a short. You can follow along with me if you want. Take some inspiration. Try to keep up with me. You know, try to do a, a brainstorm one day, story another day, storyboards another day. Try to keep up with that pace, and hopefully at the end of the thing, you'll uh, you'll have something to, to post and uh, and let me know about because I want I want to see it. I had old McDonald bending over and saying, "Hey, an Easter egg." I think by this point everybody knows that it's an Easter egg. I don't really need to push that. Here's the bunny looking to his right, and then he sees. Just a whole crap load of geese. So, there's that. And here's my final Easter bunny smile. Geese. <laughs> now it's time to do the final read through to see if everything works visually and then might be able to call it. Start from black. Boom! Easter bunny's running from left to right. Police! Chicken's on the left. That's the bunny we've been after. And then the cockatoo, doo, the siren. Push in. He looks over his shoulder. Oh my, he's running on the dirt road. Bird, we interrupt this migration report, etc., etc. Pig's there, oh, juicy. And then it pulls back and you see the bird there. Bird is saying, wait a minute, looks like the Easter Bunny's throwing something off into the bush. It's pig voice over, it seems as though, etc., etc., etc. Out comes the Easter egg. This is the first time that we've actually seen the Easter egg and the pig is explaining what's going on. Then the pig at the trough, here's the sheep, here's the sheep. Ooh. The Easter Bunny throws the basket off to the side and they change the direction from the left to the right side of the screen to the right to the left side of the screen. They cross the road, the chickens cross the road joke with the humans. Bunny goes into the barn, slams the door shut, presses his face up against the window, bamboozled. We have laws against this sort of thing. He swears at him. The cool hand Luke line. I communicate just fine. Swears at him again. Old McDonald starts to play. The shadow comes over the cop. Lightning bolt. Uh, the cop says it's Old McDonald. We see Old McDonald here in the silhouette. He sighs. We zoom in a little bit and we see him looking over and he's reacting to something. He's surprised. The geese are all lined up in a row. And then we cut back to his face and he gives a sinister grin. And that's the end. Not bad. So that's Storyboarding for today. Voices are next. See you next time.